Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. Um, first thing I want to say is thank you. I want to say thank you to everybody uh, for following me and watching me and for coming to me. Y'all know that I, I started a new uh, Skype reading thing, you know, and I put my schedule out there online for people to book. And it's been very successful. I just, I want to say thank you to all the people that have booked. Uh, the readings have been great. I have enjoyed connecting with you all. Uh, in the last two weeks since I've started, I have booked $5,000 worth of readings. So I wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to everybody that watches me and stays loyal to me and um, gives me your uh, gives me the ability to connect with you. I do realize that I have rejected a few. I have rejected a few. Um, I have a I, I have a, a strict way of doing things. Okay, it's called a plan. <laughs> I'm a planner. I am a planner. Um, I've always been a planner. Um, one of my last jobs at Corporate America, okay, I was a buyer, which works with a planner. It's all about a plan. Um, I stick to the plan, and I stick to the plan, okay? I stick to the plan. Anybody who doesn't follow the plan gets rejected, and that's the way it goes. Most people stick to the plan, and it's been great. Um, but there has been a few that have been rejected, and I do apologize for that. But in order for things to run smoothly, we have to stick to the plan, Okay, that's the way it goes. I'm Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, so I'm very grounded. I'm I'm very much a planner. I'm Taurus, Sun, Virgo, Rising, and Capricorn, Moon. The only way for me, based on who I am, to be successful is to stick to the plan. So the plan seems to be working quite well. For those of you that have had the readings, they have been fantastic. I've enjoyed every single one of them. Um, thank you for sticking to the plan. <laughs> and because... I enjoy it so much, and because I'm I'm about up to 175k, and I said when I got to 175k I would do a live. We're gonna do a live tonight, later on. So if you want to watch it, um, feel free. The live will have a, a few questions, you know, where you can ask me questions or whatever. Then I'm gonna pull a card, uh, at least one card, maybe two for each sign. So if you'd like to be a moderator, if you've, if you've commented on my videos a lot and I recognize your name and, you know, we have some sort of um, rapport and you'd like to be a moderator, um, please let me know. Let's get started. What do we have? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. Keep in mind, with the lives, they don't stay up for long. <laughs> because, you know, sometimes I say things I shouldn't say and then I have to take it down. So if you want to watch it, tonight would be the night. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Five of Swords reversed. I just want to be happy. This is somebody that is giving up. I don't want to fight anymore. I ain't got nothing left to prove. I just don't, I don't want this conflict. I don't want to deal with the conflict. Somebody is walking away, okay? Walking away from a conflict. I ain't got nothing to prove. It's all about happiness at this point. Four of Pentacles reversed. Oh, somebody's about to open up in a big way, okay? We we have a new opportunity here, okay? The Four of Cups reversed and the Four of Pentacles rever reversed. They're mirroring each other. Something is about to be revealed. Something is about to be shared, okay? There's a new opportunity here that is being seized. This is letting go of regret, letting go of stagnation. Be I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to, you know, open up. Now, the Ten of Pentacles reversed, uh, two tens, look at this, four, four, ten, ten. Interesting. So, four, ten, ten, four. Ten, four. Anyway, um, things are about to change. 
in a very positive way. Things are about to open up big time, big time. Somebody is letting go of the regrets. It's like, you know, all I want is happiness. I'm letting go. Somebody is letting go and things are about to change in a very big way. This is the, the, the Ten of Pentacles reverse is the end of a legacy or the end of a relationship. But it, it, it appears that there's going to be something fortunate that comes out of it. Okay, so there's a completion that leads to something fortunate. Okay, um, something big. Okay, this is—I know that it is. I, it is something is about to open up. This is a new opportunity to probably to to build a new foundation. Okay, um, this is destined change. Of course, it's time. It's time. It's time to live again. It's time to open up. It's time to take that new opportunity. Okay. Page, and here's that new opportunity. Page of Pentacles. Fool, starting fresh, starting from scratch. Somebody is about to be, it's almost like be handed a clean slate. It's like starting with that blank piece of paper. This is a new opportunity, the Page of Pentacles. This is a new doorway, a new pathway opening up. Again, starting over. Learning new things. Nine of Wands reversed. This is, you know, there's, been, there, there's, there's somebody that has been avoiding challenge. Somebody that has had some great personal fear. Somebody may be overwhelmed. You know, overwhelmed about all, all everything that life has handed them. You know, the struggles that life has handed them. But it's like leaving it behind, okay? Leaving it behind. It's the end of struggle by the looks of things. The world. Woo. The hermit. And the star card reversed. <laughs> This is major, whatever it is. We got the hair font on the bottom, okay? It's major because of all the majors that we have here. So this is universally driven. This is a destined change of course. This is the universe saying, okay, it's time for change. And this isn't no little change. This is a big change, okay? This is a big change. This right here, there's no closure. There's a feeling of emptiness. So there's a, a lack of, there's feeling incomplete, right? Somebody has been feeling incomplete, um, there's unfinished business, right? There's unfinished business, but we have somebody that here that is leaving it behind. It's like, you know what? Yeah, I understand. I understand that there's unfinished business. I understand that there's no closure, but I'm moving on anyway. I'm taking that leap of faith. Somebody is about to step into unknown territory. It's like they have become consciously aware. They have become enlightened. It's like, boom, they see the light. You think about the hermit that's carrying a light. It's like they get this enlightenment. I see the light. You know? Um, there's been a lack of wish fulfillment. Okay, there has been. Um, somebody has um, been, maybe they've been in a state of loathing. You know, they've been discouraged. There's been a lack of faith. But it's like all of a sudden we get this we get this change, okay? It's like the universe steps in and just changes everything, okay? Um, this is a higher power, okay? He's pointing up to the higher power. So it's like there's a, definitely a higher power involved here. Um, there's some sort of divine guidance. It, this is like God, okay? It's like God, okay? Or whatever. The higher power steps in and says, okay, it's time. It's time to release. It's time to open up. It's time to let go of those regrets. It's time to live again. It's time to let go of that old cycle. It's time for you to begin the new one. Okay? Even though even though you may feel like there's a lack of closure or you may you have may have been feeling like you couldn't step into this unknown territory. You need to have faith. This is a card of faith and this is a card of faith. So please have faith. Have faith that you are destined to take this new journey at this time, okay? So somebody is going, it's almost like being pushed, okay? It's almost like being pushed over the edge. I feel like somebody's about to be pushed into taking that step. It's like you're going to be pushed into taking that step that you have been for so fearful to, stay, to take, okay? I feel like somebody was subconsciously protecting themselves by holding on to 
a uh, old cycle, but it's like, no, the universe says, okay, here you go, here you go, okay? So I feel like somebody has been dreaming, right? Somebody has been dreaming of a better future. They've been dreaming of something more. The universe has been, he been hearing that. The universe has been listening, okay? Or a higher power has been listening. And now it's like, okay, now it's time for you to believe. It's time for you to trust me. It's time for you to have faith, okay? So that's what I, I really, really see here. I see I see the end. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles reverse is the end. It's the end of your comfort zone. Okay, you're about to be pushed out of your comfort zone. End of story. Okay. Um, this this page of Pentacles, this is a new opportunity. Okay, it's, it's like where you need to find that focus. You need to find that backbone to do it on your own. You're going to have to do this on your own now. You're on your own. You are on your own, and it's time to start over. So I feel like that's what we have for today. Whoever, Whatever day you watch this, things are about to change in a very, very big way. It's courtesy of the universe, courtesy of destiny. Um, it's, it's, it's really, it's time to fly and you're about to be pushed off that limb. Think of the bird on the limb, the baby bird and, and papa bird or mama bird comes up and, uh, pushes them off. You either sink or swim and now, you know, it's your choice. What's it going to be? Okay. Um, it's like taking the opportunity, the four of cups reverse. It's like you fly, you fly. Um, A higher power is involved here. That's all. That's that's what I got. Um, Eleven fifty-five. When I just looked at the clock, expect the unexpected. Expect the unexpected. Things are about to change. This is something that maybe even subconsciously you asked for. Eleven fifty-five. Okay. Independence. Eleven one is a number of independence. Okay. So you may be you know on your own. You're on your own, honey that kind of thing. Um, somebody is about to get some sort of wake up call that, you know, things are changing, like it or not, it's time to fly. Um, personal freedom, I see freedom. Um, things are gonna happen really, really fast. This change is gonna happen really, really fast. Um, we're gonna get one of these. impasse reflect and redirect your energy i'm going to read that one somebody is about to redirect their energy absolutely that's what this whole reading is about okay turning back isn't necessarily a failure sometimes it's the wisest thing you can do if there's an area in your life where you're where there's an impasse the universe is telling you to use this as a time to reflect and redirect your energy in another way wisdom is knowing when to back down turn around and then let it go there are times in life to break through barriers and there are times to change direction there is an area in your life regarding relationships, business, finances, health, or your life path that needs to be reevaluated. Perhaps a new route is needed. If you reach at an impasse in life, instead of protesting that it's unfair or unwarranted, change your course. Do it quickly and easily. Instead of focusing on what's not working, focus on what can work and what steps are needed to create a different future. This is the sign of a sage. The wise one views an obstacle as if it's impassable. He immediately steps back and goes a different way. Therein dwells the sage's success. Whatever the obstacle in your life, you have learned what you needed to learn. Now back away and choose a different path. The time is now. Good luck.